March 17, 2000, 15 years ago, is when members of the Movement of Restoration of the Ten Commandments cult entered their prayer place in Kanungu and later were burnt to death in what has become the famous Kanunginfano Rifles. More than 500 cult members died in Kanungu Inferno, but death linked to the cult swelled to over 1,000 with rotten corpses discovered in Kampala and Busheng. Tracing the way is difficult, but somehow we find our way through pines backlog growing in the same land. Well, as we approach, what remains is a debris and torn wall of some of the buildings that existed then. Over there are the remains of uh, the restoration of the Ten Commandments debris that remains. In 2000, over 1,000 people perished in here after the Chibwetere Inferno. There has not been any report given either by the government or the Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Internal Affairs that has visited this place several times. Residents still uncertain of whether the victims could get a hand in the help and all also fight for the land that is being eaten away by individual investors. Residents around here have for long forgotten and the only story around it is the land question but now that now belongs to a local farmer, Benon Biaruhanga, and the question of whether a report on the inferno could be out. It's really hard to get Benon Biaruhanga for a comment. But some residents speak out on whether the land can ever be accessed for a remembering site. We tried to await, but uh, all in vain. It seems the commission of inquiry that was set found no grounds of ascertaining the cause, the real cause of the Chibuyatele people who perished. So I think we have lost hope. The uh, government has been able to find a tourist site. We have been able to find a tourist site. We have been able to find a tourist site. We have been able to find a tourist site. We have been able to find a tourist site. We have been able to find a tourist site. The area recently has been turned into a sorghum and tea gardens just where the mass graves are feared to have been found. Joseph Kibwetere cult, as it has come to be known, is today believed to be the second largest cult model after a similar one that occurred in Guyana in 1978. And over there, the land is already growing with crops. The land has already been sold off to an investor who has promised to make sure he redevelops this place into a cultural site. Alan Tabaruka, WBS-TV in Kanungu.